Maps, 10 of 26. You are currently on application.item. To open this application, press control, voice over muted. The familiar sound of a Mac. This is a MacBook Air 2016, and I will be showing you all ins and outs of voiceover with it today. So, let's launch the voiceover tutorial. Hold on. Voiceover unmuted. iTunes. Oh, iBooks. 18 of 20 sec. App Store. Night. System preferences. 20. Finder. All my files. Window. Close button. You are currently on system preferences. Leaving toolbar. Yeah, dot, Hold on. Spot, I'm going to get to the enter, tutorial enter, here. Printers and sound. iCloud. Internet extensions button. Network button. Bluetooth button. Sharing button. Users and group. Parental app store. Dictation and date and startup. Time machine. Accessibility. Flash. Accessibility button. Accessibility. Leaving toolbar item palette. Accessibility features. Leaving cell two items. Enable voiceover. Check. Open voiceover training button. Prep. The voiceover quick start. In this quick start, you'll learn voiceover basics as well as important voiceover commands to help you navigate on your Mac and use apps. You can exit the quick start at any time and finish it later. To advance through the quick start panels now, use the arrow keys located to the right of the main keyboard keys. On a portable computer they're located in the bottom right corner of the keyboard. The up arrow and down arrow keys are positioned one above the other, with the left arrow and right arrow keys on either side. Now continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. To exit at practice what you learn, many quick start panels include an area where you can use voiceover to practice the commands you just learned about on the panel. The quick start plays a sound to indicate when practice begins and ends. When voiceover starts and is ready for practice, you will hear the following sound. When voiceover stops, you will hear the following sound. Now continue to the next so panel by pressing the right arrow key. Guys, here. Panel 2 of tw the voiceover modifier. You enter voiceover commands by pressing the voiceover modifier and one or more other keys. You can set the voiceover modifier to be the caps lock key or the control and option keys pressed at the same time. By default, you can use either as the voiceover modifier. The caps lock key is the third key up from the bottom on the left edge of the keyboard. The location of the control and option keys depends on your computer. On a desktop computer, they are the second and third keys on either side of the space bar. On a portable computer, they are the second and third keys to the left of the space bar. During this quick start, when you need to enter a voiceover command, you will hear something like, press VO right arrow which means press and hold the voiceover modifier, then press the right arrow key. For example, you press and hold the caps lock key, then press the right arrow key. Now continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Keyboard help. Voiceover provides keyboard help for learning about the keys on your keyboard. After you start keyboard help, just press a key to hear its name. If you press the voiceover modifier at the same time, you hear the name of the voiceover command assigned to that key, and a brief description of the command. Use voiceover now to start keyboard help. Press VOK. When you're done, press the escape key to exit keyboard help and return to the quick start. Then press the right arrow key to continue to the next panel. So... Before we go any further with this video, I'm not switching over to a Mac until next year. Next year, after camp, if I end up getting a job there, and I will get a Mac, but I'm just keeping my Windows. So I'll be Windows and a Mac user. So I'm going to press, I'm going to press caps lock, okay? What? So I'll just do there. Starting keyboard help. Type keys to hear their names. Hold down the voiceover keys while typing to hear voiceover commands. Press the escape key at the top option. S. Read current sentence. Read the sentence in the vo H. Open voiceover help menu. I. Item chooser. List all items Let's in the window. Let's do it with every single letter. Option. Q. Oops. Option. W. Read visible text. Read the text. Can e. So that's... Right. Nice. Move right. Moves the voiceover cursor right. Click right. Move right. Moves the voiceover cursor right. 
Double tap. Perform action for item. Performs the diff. Three finger double tap. Mute voiceover toggle. Toggles weather voiceover. Speech and sounds are muted. Three finger tap. Speak current page and scroll area. Speaks the current. Three finger triple tap. Toggle screen curtain on or off. Screen curtain Ooh. darkens the video display. That's nice. I never knew that. Before. Yes. Press the right arrow. Move around the screen. To move the voiceover cursor, press the voiceover modifier while pressing the up, down, left, or right arrow key. As the cursor moves, you hear a description of the item it moves to. On screen, the voiceover cursor appears as a rectangular outline around the item. Use voiceover now to navigate around the practice area below. When you're done, Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Voiceover on voiceover quick start. Move around. Announce alert messages settings. Speak speak text under the learn more. Go go back button. Learn more. But speak. And now pop. Sh 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 show up. Hide all comments. S and speak. Speak select. And s com text. Text to move the comments. You are currently on a text app. System preferences. Accessibility Oops. window. What open voiceover training. Do? Button has keyboard focus. Welcome back. Welcome back to the voiceover Oops. quick start. I don't know what happened there. To resume where you left off, press the right arrow key. To move around the screen. To move the voice. Adjust the voice. You can choose a different voice to use in voiceover or change the voice's rate, pitch, volume, and intonation. Intonation, that's a nice setting. To start. Press the O command right arrow several times until you hear the voice setting you want to change. To increase the settings value, press the O command up arrow. To decrease the value, press the O command down arrow. Use voiceover now to change the voice or adjust its settings. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Select controls. You use the voiceover cursor to adjust the voice. Select con adjust the voice. That's select odd. controls. You use yeah. the voiceover cursor to interact with checkboxes, radio buttons, pop-up menus, and other on-screen controls. To select a control, press VO spacebar. To show the items in a pop-up menu, press VO spacebar. To select an item in the menu, navigate to it, then press VO spacebar. Use voiceover now to navigate and select controls in the practice area below. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Voiceover on voiceover, quick start. Select controls, window, cell grid, uncheck, check, solid lock, call, rich text, selected, rid, press rich text, selected, radio button. Oops, I cheated a little there. Continue button. Type in text fields. You enter information in text fields. Most text fields have labels located above or beside them. Move the voiceover cursor to a label to learn about the text field and the type of information to enter in the field. When you type in a text field, you hear each letter as you type it. When you type in a secure text field, such as a password field, the characters are not spoken. Use voiceover now to read the labels for the text fields in the practice area below, and then move the cursor to the text fields to enter text. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Voiceover on voiceover quick start, type in text fields, window, name, edit text as keyboard focus. You are currently on a text field. What space, tie. T A A space A A H A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A space ha 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 type a sample password you are currently on a text element let's just type in testing one two three T E A A S T I F G that's obviously not my password testing one two three testing one two password secure edit text you are currently on a text field so this is what happens if you type an actual password this is a secure text field text I'm just gonna type in testing one two three. Oop, I grab. Interact with elements. Some elements can contain other elements, such as a toolbar that contains buttons. VoiceOver simplifies navigation by moving to these top-level elements, then letting you decide whether to explore the elements within. When you hear an element of interest, such as a table, you can stop and interact with it. When you do, the voiceover cursor stays within the element's boundaries until you stop interacting with it. 
To start interacting with an element, press the O shift down arrow. Then to navigate within the element, use the O and the arrow keys. To stop interacting with it, press the O shift up arrow. Use voiceover now to interact with the toolbar in the practice area below. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Voiceover on voiceover quick start, interact with elements window, text, interact with elements. You are currently on a text area. Okay, so let's do this. Text, sub toolbar, quit button, toolbar. You are currently on a toolbar. Interact with toolbar. Five item, get, ma get mail button, new message button. You are currently on a button. It stop interacting with toolbar. Quit button. You are currently on go back button. Continue button. Navigate in tables. When you interact with tables in documents and web pages, you navigate vertically and horizontally using the voiceover commands you have already learned, VO and the arrow keys. To read tables by column, row, or cell, you use other voiceover commands. To read a table column, press VOCC. To read a row, press VORR. To read the column header, VOC. To read the row header, VOR. Use voiceover now to navigate and read the table in the practice area. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Right. Voiceover on voiceover quick start, navigate in tables, window, table, row 13 of 13, index 1 3, language, Korean, character count 6, selected. Okay. Quit button. T -t -t text. Navigate in tables. A end of text. You are end of text. Not working. T -t -t go back. Continue button. That's not really a command you need, though. Select a date and time. To change a date or time, first interact with the date or time field. To move to the setting you want to change, such as the month or hour, press VO right arrow or VO left arrow. To increase or decrease the settings value, Press VO up arrow or VO down arrow. When you're done, stop interacting with the field. Use voiceover now to select a date and time in the practice area below. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Oh, uh. Use select a date and time. To change a date or time, anymore. use st select a use steppers. Okay, steppers are on screen with. controls for increasing or decreasing the value of a numeric setting. To use a stepper, first interact with it. Then to increase or decrease a value, press VO up arrow or VO down arrow. When you're done, stop interacting with the stepper. Use voiceover now to use the steppers in the practice area below. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Yeah, voiceover on voiceover quick start. Use steppers window. 2 5. Contents selected age. Edit text has keyboard focus. 0. Continue 0 2 2 2 5. Contents selected stepper. 2 5. Number of children. Go go back num a age. Text quit panel panel quit tap 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 panel 1 2 of 2 2. You panel are currently 12 of 22 element. so um, so this video is going to be quite long guide for voiceover on Mac. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this is on Mac OS 10.12. Voiceover muted. Oops. Voiceover unmuted. Screen curtain on. There we go, that should save some battery. Panel one, pa 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 panel one two of two two. Oops. Panel one, continue button. The dock, the dock. Located along the edge of the screen, contains icons for Finder, Launchpad, and popular apps such as Mail, Safari, and iTunes. To navigate to the dock, press VOD. I know that one. To move between I icons in the dock, press VO left arrow or VO right arrow. To open an item, press VO spacebar. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Panel 13 of 22, the menu bar, the menu bar, located along the top edge of the screen, contains app menus. 
The menus change based on the active app, but typically include file, edit, format, window, and help. The Apple menu, at the left end of the menu bar, is always available. The right end of the menu bar contains Notification Center, Spotlight, and various status menus, such as Wi-Fi or Battery, depending on your computer and settings. To navigate to the menu bar, press VOM. To navigate to the status menus, press VOMM. To move between items in each of these areas, press VO left arrow or VO right arrow. To open an item, press VO space bar. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Navigate web pages. You can easily navigate a web page using voiceover commands you have already learned, VO and the arrow keys. VoiceOver provides other ways to browse web pages, such as using the rotor and web spots, explained in the next panels. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Use the rotor. The VoiceOver rotor provides a quick way to navigate the content of the window. In web pages, it provides lists of links, headers, and other common web items. You select an item from a list and jump directly to the item in the window. To open the rotor, press VOU. Move between the list using the right arrow or left arrow key. Move between the items in a list using the up arrow or down arrow key. When you find the item you want to jump to, press the space bar. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Panel 16 of 22. Use auto web spots. When VoiceOver opens a web page, it automatically groups items based on the page's visual design, and marks the groups with auto web spots. You can use the auto web spots to navigate web pages. To jump to the next or previous auto web spot, press VO Command N or VO Command Shift N. To hear the related items in an auto web spot, use general navigation keys. To move to the item before or after an auto web spot, Press VO right arrow or VO left arrow key. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Panel 17 of t Practice Web Page Navigation. Use VoiceOver now to navigate web pages in the practice area below. You can use VO and the arrow keys, the rotor, and auto web spots. When you're done, continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Here we go. VoiceOver on VoiceOver Quick Start. Practice web page navigation window. Let's learn about lemurs. HTML content has keyboard focus. You are currently on HTML content. Quit but go back but can go quit look te text. Practice web page navi navigation. So, don't want to do it like this. Text. Use voiceover now to navigate web pages. And let's learn about lemurs. H quit button. Go back but continue button. You are. Use a multi-touch trackpad. VoiceOver has detected a trackpad that supports gestures. With the VoiceOver trackpad commander enabled, you can use VoiceOver gestures, as well as VoiceOver commands. The surface of your trackpad represents the current window, document, or other area. When you drag your finger across the trackpad, the VoiceOver cursor moves across the area on the screen. Tap an edge of the trackpad, and the cursor moves to that edge of the area on the screen. To move the voiceover cursor to the next or previous item, flick a finger left or right. Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Panel 19 of 22. So we're on panel 19, we're actually getting pretty close to the uh, end of the voiceover tutorial, but that, I, this, bleh, 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 this video won't just be a voiceover tutorial, it'll be demoing voiceover and how to do some other stuff with it. So this is going to be about a 30 minute video, I think. Practice trackpad gestures. Use voiceover gestures now to navigate the web pages in the practice area below. First, you must enable the trackpad commander so you can use the gestures. I have it enabled already. Press the voiceover modifier and rotate two fingers clockwise on the trackpad. To move to the next or previous item, flick right or left. To start or stop interacting with the current item, flick to the left. To select the current item, double tap. When you're done, disable the trackpad commander by pressing the voiceover modifier and rotating two fingers counterclockwise on the trackpad. 
Continue to the next panel by pressing the right arrow key. Voice over on voice over quick start. Practice trap pad gestures. So I'm gonna turn my on about lemurs. Pitch 45 per pitch 50 per pitch 45 percent and headings. Trap pad commander off. Trap pad commander on. So mine was ready on, so let's swipe here. Quit. Go back. Quit. Text. 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 Trap pad. Tap. Go pet 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 continue. Panel two zero of two two. Continue. Go quit. Let's learn about lemurs. HTML content. Close up of lemur playing with tail image. You are currently on an image inside of a close up of lemur close up of lemur clip clip lemur close up image lemur close up image lemur playing heading level lemur playing with tail image lemur close up of lemur playing with tail image lemurs are small primates known as prosimian lip heading in 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 head in head in in head in head lemurs communicate okay. using heading level f heading level three how many types of Lemurs communicate using head, head, heading level three. Edge. Lemurs communicate using head tape le font rep font rep font facts. And you can also use it like if you use an iPhone, you can use the trackpad. Like a touch screen, like if I do. Voice over muted. Voice over unmuted. Speed drop command. Screen curtain on. Screen curtain off. Screen curtain on. Rel four font rep font rep font and head head sub head lip head no I I I I enjoyed the pictures. To, re to, re to, re to receive our monthly lemur newsletter. To I, I, I learn, I learn. Note, heading level, note. The fuck, heading, gin, living in ice, heading level. Sign, heading, heading, and rep, lead, rep, lead, rep, lead, rep, lead, rep, lead, rep, lead, table, mo, heading, lemur, heading, lead, mo, heading, lead, the heading, heading, inch, inch, heading, inch, 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 heading, leg, lemur, club, lemur, lemur, plant, leap, close up of lemur, plant, leap, leap, heading level, heading level one. Let's learn about lemur. You are lemur, plant, lemur, club, leap, heading level. To receive our monthly lemur, to receive our monthly lemur newsletter, answer system preferences, accessibility Oops, window, it. open open voiceover training, open voice open voiceover. Mm -hmm. Welcome we back, welcome back to practice trackpad gestures. Let's Use go. voiceover gesture, yeah. voiceover review. Take time now to review the voiceover um, commands you have learned by really need get to do more that. from your Mac. Congratulations, you have completed the voiceover <coughs> quick start. Now you can use the voiceover commands you have learned to get more out of <sighs> using your Mac. If you need help using voiceover, press VOH when right. voiceover is on. You can customize voiceover using voiceover utility. Voiceover utility presents a list of 10 categories, from general to activities. To open voiceover utility, press VOF8 when voiceover is on. To exit the voiceover quick start, press the escape key or select the done button. To revisit panels, select the go back button. Voiceover on voiceover quick start, get more from your Mac window, done button. So we really don't need to review any of the voiceover stuff, because if you guys do, since this is a video recording and I already pretty much know what I'm doing, you can just rewind the video. Um, so let's just double tap on the done button. System preferences, accessibility, window, screen curtain on. Open voiceover utility button. Voiceover utility. You are currently on a button. To click but this button. first, let me show you all my uh, voices. Because uh, as the folder will come with, I believe, it will come with Alex, Fred, Bruce, and maybe Vicky, and maybe Victoria. I'm not sure if, if I downloaded those. I don't really remember. But So, let me, like it said in the voiceover uh, tutorial, you want to do VO um, command. And right arrow, so let's see what I've got here. Rate 45%. Voice Alex. Alex. Hi, Porgan. Hi, Porgan. Voice Alex. Hi, Porgan. Alex. 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 Hi. Voice Alex. What the fuck? Vicky. Oops. Uh, Alex. Hi, Porgan. Alex. Hello. Victoria. Vicky. Fred. Bruce. Agnes. Allison. Ava. Kevy. Susan. Kevy. Alex. I like Pat Morgan, but I'm going to use Alex for this demo. Rate 45%. 45. I'm going to use an up arrow. I'm going to get to top of list, it does this. Oops. I just crushed the voiceover, I think. Hold on. This is a newer Mac, but the voiceover still can glitch. So hold on. Let's just restart it. Um, speak how to do that is you do Command F5. To turn it off. Uh, or not. Or not. So I have it really fast, so let's slow it down. 
Great. 80, 75, 50%, 45%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, voice Alex, rate 50%, voice Alex. What's that? The way to get different voices for it. Let's help let's show accessibility status and open voice over utility. Open voice, open voice over utility. Voice Press over open utility. voice over utility button. Or wait, let me go to the dock here. Dock. System preference. If I do VOF8. Uh, they said that would work. I've never tried that. Um, that does not work. Break. Preview Microsoft PowerPoint open 22 of 27. Voice over utility separator. Voice over utility. Open voice over utility. Voice, voice over utility. utility window. Whatever. Utility categories. Table. General. Selected. So general. You are currently on a table. To enter this table, press control, option, shift, down arrow. So control, option, shift, down arrow is what we gotta do here. Interact with utility categories. Table. General. So you gotta do VO. Verbosity. You are currently on speech. Speech. We you are currently speech. on a cell inside of a table. To navigate the. So we wanna click on that. Speech. Row three of ten cell. Then we tab. Leaving cell. Voices. Selected. Tab. One of two. Voices. You are currently or on mute speech. Mute Uncheck. Speech. Checkbox. Which, if you have the trackpad commander on, you can just do three finger doubles have like this. Voice over muted. Uncheck. Mute speech. Checkbox. Alex. Default voice pop-up button. So Alex. Choose the voice just... to use for voice over. You up. are currently on a pop-up button to display. Mac. Um. Sorry. Um. You want to double tap on this. Since I have some. Default. Things. Alex. Default voice. Menu 16 items. Check mark. Alex. Alex. You are currently on a menu. You want to do VO down arrow? Bruce. Bruce. Fred. Fred. Novelty. Dimmed. Cellos. Pipe organ. Customize ellipsis. Customize pipe. Not. Vic. Susan. Ag. Female. Female. Dimmed. Agnes. Allison. Ava. Kathy. You are currently on a. Susan. Vicky. Victoria. Male. Dimmed. Checkmark. Alex. Bruce. Fred. Novelty. Cellos. Pipe organ. Customize ellipsis. Customize. You, want you to are currently on a menu item. To choose this menu item, press cut. Select voices. Search. You are currently on a text field. Do you enter text in? Let's say I wanted to find, uh, what voice should I do? This has got so many more voices than your iPhone. Let's just type in Tom. T-O-M. Cancel button. Cancel button. Tom. Select, select voices. Your voices. Table. No selection. You are currently on a table. To enter this table, press control. Up. Interact with voices. Table. No selection. Interact. Row one of two. You are currently... English, United States, row one of two. English, United States, row one of two. English, United States, row one of two cell. Tom, uncheck checkbox. Check Tom, checkbox. Check that and then let's exit the table. Stop interacting with voices. Table will be downloaded. Tom, check checkbox. Sele so the way you stop interacting with the table is VO shift up arrow like it said in the tutorial. Now let's do VO right arrow or down arrow until we get to play, the play button. Oh, there's a play you button right here. Press this. Press stop. My name is Tom. I am an American English voice. Let's mute my speech. Here. Voice over muted. Hello. My name is Tom. I am an American English voice. So let's unmute. Voice over unmuted. You are currently on the OK default button. OK. You are currently on the button. Alex, default voice pop up button. Now, if I go back into my Choose voice. Or you can just do VO command right arrow. Rate 50% voice out. Victoria, Vicky, Fred, Bruce, Agnes, Kathy, Kathy, Susan, you should have Ava, the voice, Allison, Agnes, Bruce, Fred, Vicky, Victor, Alex, Alex. Don't ask me why I don't, but you should. Five zero, Alex. Default What's voice pop-up button. Default. Intonation. Intonation. You are currently on a text element. You heard what intonation does. You basically heard all the rest of these settings. Um, so there will be more voiceover tutorials later in the future. Let me just escape out of here. Whoa. Voice over utility. Oh, trackpad command. Trackpad commander off. You are currently on application. Do item. Voice over off. Voice over off by doing command F5. So that wraps up for voiceover tutorial part one. Basics of voiceover. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out. It's about more voiceover.
expect more voiceover tutorials later in the future. Peace out. Um, yeah, so this was how to, uh, this was voiceover tutorial basics on MacBook Air 2016 running Mac OS 10.12, 10.12 actually. So yeah, peace out. See you in the next video.